Hello everybody and welcome to From Boss to Bond, Zora Edition. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you need to keep rebonding your account but need to earn enough for a bond within the 14 days? Well, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how efficient Zora is for getting yourself a bond. Now we're going to be taking a look at the average Zora kill, the price of a bond currently and the time it takes to kill however many Zora that comes out to. Then we're going to try it for ourselves and see how lucky we get. It's worth noting, this does not include supply costs, but I love budget videos, so a budget version of this may be coming in the future. But regardless of your gear, we're going to be looking at the average kills, and then you can work that into your average kill time. Let's get into it. As we all know, Zola is known as the money snake, and for good reason. According to the old school runescape wiki, an average Zola kill is currently worth around 131k. Now the current price of a bond is just over 5.5 mil meaning that on average we need to kill 42 Zora to obtain a bond. But before we get into any more details, let's go ahead and see how lucky we are personally because my membership is currently running out. Let's go. Now it's worth noting I'm just going to be totally chilling, I'm going to be using the buffer with a Serp Helm just so it's nice and easy, laid back kills, and we'll see how lucky we get. And there's kill count number one, as you can see nice and laid back, not much food used. Not a bad drop either, we've just got 92k, which is really good. The kill took 2 minutes, so if we keep up at that rate, we're on about 28 kills an hour by the looks of it. Kill number 3, 165k, well above average, I wonder if we'll get any better than that in this kill. Number 4, the fastest kill yet, 99 seconds, but also the worst loot. Number 7. Ooh, green text. Shame it's Zolra scales, but that does put this to our best kill yet at 184k. Let's see if we can spoon a unique. That kill felt fast. Yeah, 95 seconds, not bad. That is our fastest kill so far using just the buffer setup. This is number 10. It should put us to over a mil. There we go. So we're averaging about 106k per kill right now, which is about expected without a unique. So I am very happy. Well, that's something. Honestly, I should have brought thralls for this just to speed up the kills a little bit. But because I didn't do it for the first 10 kills, I've decided not to just to keep the average stats at the end fair. And not everyone's got thralls, so I think it's fine. Kill count number 20. Oh, everything's good here apart from the flags. Now, my fastest kill so far has only been 95 seconds with this setup, which is not that quick. But we are currently on just over 2 mil, so we're averaging about 100k a kill right now. At this rate, without a unique, we're probably going to end on about 54 kills. Okay, that's a quick kill. That's our best yet. Actually, the first time getting that after the combat achievement release too. Not bad. 75 seconds, I'll take it. Number 22 got me an elite clue. Now, curse I want this to be just purely drop based. Like the wiki doesn't include clue prices in the average. I am going to leave that on the floor and we're just going to carry on as normal. That's a good kill. 186k. <laughs> and there's a first 200k plus kill. That's insane. And it was pretty fast. Magic seed 10 battle staffs. And as all things balance out, the kill later we get our worst kill. <laughs> you logs and dragonstone bolt tips. Oh god. Just got kill number 30, coming out to 3.3 mil, so we're close. We are closing in. And here's a kill even worse than the other one, 33,700 GP. Fastest kill yet, 73 seconds. But the loot wasn't that great. Kill count number 35. Now I'm actually happy that I've not pulled a unique yet, because we're 35 kills in, and we've not like pulled anything huge. Which means this is kind of a true test of how many kills for a bond, it's great. Also, that's my fastest kill yet, 65 seconds. Not going to complain at that. Kill number 40 coming in. Junk, but that does put us at 4.25 mil, so we're nearly there. Then we can get into some juicy statistics. No way, we got a jar of swamp in this. I mean, it's a collection log slot, so why not? <laughs> Man, hey. 30k extra is 30k extra. I do not mind that at all. 50 kill count. This could be it. And nope. So this brings our total to 5.26 mil. So we're very close. When the loot tracker says 5.5, I'm going to go sell up and see where we're at. Kill count 52. 
Oh, that is pricey. That puts us to 5.54 mil. I think we'll do one more to be safe and then we will grab our averages and stats. And there we go, the final kill number 53. Let's get to the GE. And there we go, our final value, 5.6 mil. I'll put a total loot up on the screen now and let's see if we can get a bond. It says they're trading for 5.5. I guess we'll leave this thing for a minute. And there we go, bond achieved in 53 Zulra kills. Now let's go through some stats. Now the average kill was just under 121 seconds, so just over two minutes. The longest kill took 184 seconds over three minutes. And the shortest kill was just 65 seconds, which is not bad. The average loot per kill was 106,932 GP. The most expensive loot that I got in one drop was 210,677 GP. And the lowest was just over 33,000. If you do this for a bond, assuming a 53 kill per bond ratio, the chance of obtaining the pet is around 1.3%, which is not too shabby. Now let's get into the actual data analysis to see how good Zora is for obtaining bonds. Without uniques, our average GP per kill was 106,832 GP. Our total time was 6,404 seconds, meaning that our average kill time was 121 seconds, or basically 2 minutes 1 second. Meaning to earn us one bond, it only took 1 hour 46 minutes of killing Zora. Now, as stated earlier, this assumes that you have the supplies to kill Zora in your bank, and doesn't include the running there and getting there, just the kill time. So, make this somewhere around the 2 hour mark, meaning to sustain a bond at Zulra in my gear, you only have to dedicate 2 hours of the 14 days killing it. And it also has the pet and mutagen chance as well as the expensive uniques, making this a 10 out of 10 method. But, did we get lucky? According to the wiki, the average Zulra kill is worth 127,990 GP, but this is including uniques. If we use this value, on average it would take 43 kills, shaving off 10 kills in around 20 minutes. But what if you don't have the gear that I'm using? Well, on my Iron Man with a regular trident and a Kirill's crossbow, I was averaging about 3 minute kills. If we use that time in the calculation of my data at 53 kills per bond, that only increases this time to 2 hours 39 minutes, so 3 hours including banking and getting there, which is still absolutely amazing with the 14 day grace period of having a bond. So yes, Zolra is a really good method of obtaining a bond, even with a budget setup. Assuming you can kill it at least, as compared to a lot of other bosses it is fairly mechanical, so this also assumes that you don't make mistakes and die along the way. I hope you enjoyed this video, as you can see Zulra is ace, if you want to see this for any other bosses, even some simple ones like Crazy Archaeologist, Giant Mole, or if you want another big hitter like Vorkath, let me know and I'll make another episode in the From Boss to Bond series. Love you and leave you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!